we must know where we need to put our attention and we must be absolutely absolutely clear about that even when we're doing a google search we've all used google right google search we've all used that what happens in a google search let's say you you search for something you're looking for something you you put a search on google it gives you you know 10000 results you open four or five simultaneously you browse through that and then those four or five searches that are open that lead you to something else then you start to look at that and then that leads you to something else similarly the same thing happens on youtube also you're looking for a certain subject you type that you search for that it opens an op it, it gives you multiple options you click that you start to watch it then something some other recommendation comes you start to watch it if you observe that process after 40 minutes an hour you will realize that what you were looking for and where you have ended up in an hours of spending time on the search are two different things could be related could could not be related but they are not precisely the same thing because you have allowed your attention follow this because you allowed your attention to be taken to wherever the system wanted to take the attention that is how these systems are designed i know some of the people who 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 write algorithms to design these systems they want you to they want to take your attention to something they read your internal initial signals of the search that you've put in and then through that they start to take you to other domains and finally the ad starts to pop up, pop up you don't even realize that then you start to see the ads that the system wants to show you and the original search subject is gone out of the window yeah we've all experienced that how did they make this system they made the system based on the thought process because exactly they knew the designers the engineers the people who wrote those algorithms they knew how the mind works how the thought works so they studied the thought pattern of attentiveness how does thought work let's say i i am thinking about uh what what is example um okay let's say i want to think about i want to go from here to 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 somewhere i want to go for a walk in the forest that's the first thought i want to think about that's my attention i want to think about that thought but the moment i have thought about that another thought has taken root and from the walk in the forest the thought came of the of the trees from the trees the cloud from the cloud the rain from the rain to cold to the cold to some other friend from some other friend to something else and within 5 minutes where you started the original thought and where you ended up are two different things all together you have allowed your mind to take your attention to anything where it wants to take you do not have control of the attention that is how the thought process in the mind works right are we together first of all So what's happening here in the current situation what is really happening is we don't have too much control unfortunately of our own attention whatever content comes to us comes to us we absorb it so a lot of negative news comes we absorb it a lot of fake news comes we absorb it through the media through the whatsapp even when we're talking to each other or people on phone friends on phone all we are talking about is the suffering and the fear most of the time we are allowing our attention to be grabbed by the collective psychosis of fear and suffering yeah if you talk to anybody they do not want to talk about or think about suffering or fear anymore in heart they don't want to think about that but unconsciously they are allowing their attention to still go into that zone through the uncontrolled media or talk show or unawareness even when we talk to our friends on the phone we talking about the same thing 
Are we together? Are, we, you, are you following me? If I ask you a question that if you are active on social media in last two months, one month, whatever the time is, how many times have you made a conscious decision to make a positive post on social media about anything, about let's say nature, about rain, about weather, anything? It must the, the figures are much less. I was talking to a friend the other day who is kind of an analyst and researcher who showed me the a very interesting analysis of the news items from the newspaper from last three weeks. The results were very interesting because in last three weeks, let's say on every day, let's say if there are 100 news items on a, in a newspaper, out of the 100 news items, there was probably one item which was positive, 99 were of, of the kind which generates more fear and suffering. And we're reading newspapers every day. We are allowing our attention to go into that domain. The topic for this 21 day series, we said, shift your attention, raise your vibration. Because we observed that a lot of us do not have control over our own attention. It just goes. It just grabs. Think there are things out there which attract your attention and you allow it to go there. And when you do that, the results are there. Then, you know, if, if the attention is going too much into the suffering zone, the fear zone, the negative zone, this is what's going to happen to your body-mind. Are we together? So this is the second sutra for today I wanted to share that. We must know where we need to put our attention and we must be absolutely, absolutely clear about that. Even when we're doing a Google search. And what is the, or, or where must be our attention at this moment in time? As I discussed earlier, the example of Krishna, Arjuna, Gita. Our attention must only be to know the higher truth of life. What is going on? What is the truth? Not truth about the, about the pandemic and all the theories around it, but the truth of life itself. What is this life? What is going on? Where am I leading? Tomorrow it could be me. Have I lived enough? Have I, have I learned enough? Have I realized that for, have I realized that for which I came here? Am I on the path? Am I making use of this opportunity, this intensity? This must be the object of my attentiveness, 24 by 7. If I want to make use of this opportunity, if I want to be another Arjuna, because Krishna is speaking from many different domains right now, every truth that I encounter in life is like a Krishna speaking. So that's the second sutra for today. Please be extremely careful. Where are you willing to pour your attention? Into the negative domain of excessive news, media, suffering, pain, fear? Or into realizing that, oh, this is the nature of life. Anybody can leave any time. There must be something more to it. What is the highest truth? How does it all work? We come and we go, is that it? I want to know about that. I must know that. Why am I here? I must know that. What is it that the Buddha was seeking? I must know that. Because the intensity is supporting this knowingness. So that's the second understanding, sutra, lesson. Whatever you are doing 24 by 7, especially these days, be very careful and be very aware where do you want to pour your attention.